Hey there, uh, it's Kelly Sparta again. I wanted to talk to you today about eating spiritually. And so, you know, a lot of people are going to go, oh, well, that means I have to be vegetarian or I have to be vegan or all of that stuff. And the answer is no, no, you don't. And it'd be nice if you could see me there. <laughs> um, and, you know, you don't have to do those things. You're, you're welcome to do them, but they're not required. What you do have to do, however, is eat mindfully and you have to be connected to your body. If you want to eat spiritually, I mean, you don't have to do any of these things, but if you want to eat spiritually, these are the things to do. And so the first thing is you want to eat mindfully. So I recently went for a spa day, which is why my nails are painted. Hey, and they served me a lunch and I did a mindful eating practice when I was there because, uh, you know, I was by myself and I could, I had the space, I had the time, it was fantastic, right? And so what you do with that is you just take a bite and you put it in your mouth and you close your eyes and you chew very slowly and you go, oh, this taste and that taste and mm, so good, right? And you chew and chew and chew and chew and chew until there's nothing left to chew and then you swallow. And so it takes you a very long time to eat this way. So it, it, there's not always time to do that, right? But that is a mindful eating process, right? And so, you know, this is, this is part of the process of eating spiritually. Now, the other part of it is you want to, um, you want to listen to your body, okay? Your body will tell you what it wants and what it doesn't want if you are in it. Most of us spend half of our times dissociated from our bodies. We're like, yeah, 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 I can't think about that. I mean, if you want to have a sense of how often you spend time dissociated from your body, I want you to think about how often do you have to go to the bathroom and you don't go for half an hour to an hour. Right? Okay, there we go. So what I'm saying is if you get into your body, your body will tell you what it wants and what it doesn't want. So uh, years ago, Kathy was doing health consulting, health coaching, and she used the ALA test, uh, allergy test to help people figure out what they were allergic to, what they were sensitive to, blah, 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 blah. So she worked with a ton of people doing this. And I sat down with her and I was like, okay, my turn. So I took the test and I got it done and I, I <laughs> And it came back and I laughed and she's like, what? I said, it says I only have three sensitivities and I've already eliminated all three of those things from my diet because my body doesn't like them. <laughs> she laughed. She's like, oh my God, I've never seen that. But that's why she calls me embodiment girl is because I am in my body, right? And so I just was like, okay, clearly I don't need this test because I'm already listening to my body. So we're good. But that's the sort of thing that I'm talking about, right? Is, is you get to the point where you're like, okay, here's how this is gonna work. And your body, you go to put something in your mouth and your body goes, mm -mm. listen to that, okay? You need to pay attention. If you eat something and your body later is like, uh -uh, don't eat it, okay? That's how I figured this stuff out is I was like, oh, every time I eat grapes, I get a headache. Every time I eat cheese, the soft cheeses on my, my body doesn't like it, you know, and that's how I had figured it out. So these are the things and they will change over time. So you have to continue to be vigilant about it. So just keep that in mind as you're going through, if you want to eat spiritually, if you want to bring spirituality into your meal time, this is a way to do it. You can also do muscle testing. If you, if you're not sure if a food is going to be good for you, you can do muscle testing on it. And, and that's just simple kinesiology. You say, look, okay, give me a yes. So a yes answer should be a strong response and it should be hard to pull apart your fingers. And then you say, give, you tell your body, give me a yes. And it's like, okay, that's solid. Give me a no. Okay, give me a no. Give me a no. Okay. And then you, you test and you go, should I eat peaches? Yes, I should eat peaches. Should I eat peppers? No. Uh, well, I happen to know that because I'm allergic to peppers, okay? <laughs> so, you know, should I eat, you know, whatever, right? And, and your body will tell you. So it's a simple way to do that if you get into your body and you be really clear about it. So 
enjoy this try it out. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear back from you. Comment on the video. Let me know what your experience has been. And, you know, like, rate, subscribe. Yay. Join the mailing list, by the way, because my book is coming out soon. And you guys are going to want to know about it because it is called The Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth in Record Time. And it's only going to be five bucks. So <laughs> come on, you know, put your name on the mailing list, which you have to do on my website. Go to my website at kellysparta.com and put your name in on the, on the uh, you can either download the, the Boundaries for Empaths free download and that'll put you on the mailing list. Or you can scroll all the way down to the bottom of the homepage and put your name on the mailing list down there. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.